Good morning, hello friends. It's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. 大家好，欢迎来到观澜湖 in Shenzhen, China. I'm so excited to be here. It's my first time here, and I've wanted to come for a long time. We are playing the Faldo course today. There are 12 courses on site. We obviously cannot get to all 12, but today we're going to play Faldo, and tomorrow we're going to play World Cup. So that's going to be the next video. Let's head out to the golf course. By the way,、uh, we landed last night quite late, very jet lag. Woke up at 3 a.m. today, and also haven't been on a golf course in four and a half months thanks to winter in Toronto. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. My goal is to have fun. It's beautiful outside. It was pouring rain last night, and then it just completely stopped. Clear skies, low 20s today. It's going to be awesome. Let's get out. Welcome to the Faldo Course at Mission Hills, China, designed and named after Nick Faldo. The Faldo Course is one of 12 18-hole golf courses on site. The Faldo Course and the Pete Dye Course have a separate clubhouse from the other 10 golf courses. Our golf clubs were sent to the golf course the night before. There is a short game practice green next to the first tee for both the Faldo and Pete Dye courses. The Pete Dye course here is members only. All the other courses are open to visitors. The Faldo course, as a result, is noticeably busier, and it is also a fairly short golf course, playing just over 5,500 yards from the white tees. Also, the greens on every golf course had recently been aerated and are very slow or inconsistent. Not a long-term issue, but something to note. Let's start with hole number one, par five, 433 yards. Dogleg right around this massive, irregularly shaped bunker. To carry the bunker, you'll need to carry the ball over 180 yards from the white tees. LOL, the swing comes back after this shot. Thanks, Winter. Nice. Hole number two, par four, 363 yards, dogleg right. The bunker on the right requires a 200-yard carry to go over, and there is water on the other side, as you'll see on the second shot. I can't figure out the greens here. They're quite slow at the moment, and your putts will hit the brakes hard. Hole number three is a short par four, only 260 yards from the white tees. There is a fairway on either side of the cluster of bunkers. I opted to go for the fairway on the right side for an easier shot into the green. The left fairway is longer and has more open space if you have less distance off the tee or you're playing from a further back tee deck. Chipping is problematic today. We'll recover in time. Hole number four is a par five, 437 yards. There is water on the left, but the fairway is very open off the tee. Try to stay on the left side of the fairway, though, because you'll have a clearer second shot. There is a big water pond and lots of bunkers guarding the green, making it difficult to go for it in two. I took my hybrid here to move the ball up to the 70-yard mark. Marshall just came and told me that I can't film because there's I don't know why. I think it's because the group behind. It's a busy course. It's the most busy course out of the 12 courses, and the group behind must have said like, "Oh, why are we being slow?" Even though we're keeping pace, the group ahead is on the tee box. We're on the green, so I don't I don't know. But it's happened again. Where? My camera is to blame. Hole number five is another short par four, 272 yards. Bunkers on the left and water on the right. We're back on the camera, but we're back handheld because I think my tripod makes it look too professional, and they seem to have an issue with it because they think I'm live streaming. I'm not live streaming though, and I'm only literally filming myself. So.
Hole number six, par three, 147 yards. Water all the way up to the green with a bit of fairway to work with on the right side. Hole number seven, par four, 344 yards. The first bunkers are about 230 yards away. I would aim to go just left of them. I've been hitting a fade or almost slice all day with the driver, but try to go for the left side of those bunkers. Ooh. Hole number 8 is a downhill par 3, 137 yards. My camera must have adjusted exposure to the white space, please ignore that. I believe I took a 9 iron here and went for a 120 yard shot. Hole number 9, last hole on the front 9, is a par 4, 372 yards, fairly straightforward hole. I hit that fade again, but staying centered or towards the left side of the fairway will give you a clearer look at the green. I had a 170 yard shot here with the ball above my feet and in the rough. Honestly hit a really good shot. Again, the chipping is abnormal for me, I'll fix it soon for summer. On to the back nine. By the way, there are lots of birds on the golf course. Hole number 10 is very cool. The tree line narrows down into the distance. Par five, 485 yards, dog leg left. The fairway does go downhill towards the green. For the second shot, water comes in to play on the left side. I was drawing it a bit close there, but stayed dry. 70 yards left, gap wedge. Just hit it a little too hard and had to chip it back. Hole number 11, short part 4, 297 yards. Lots of bunkers to avoid off the tee. Going out to the right side is a safe play here. Still getting used to this new PXG bad attack putter on real grass first time. Hole number 12, par 4, 323 yards. Green is straight ahead past the row of bunkers. Had a nice wedge shot into the green. Ball took a few jumps off the face here on this putt. They weren't quite sure where to put the previous hole, huh? Hole number 13 at par 3, 169 yards. Big bunker on the left side followed by a massive drop off. Definitely try to stay on the right side of the green here. It was playing about 160 so I hit my 5 iron. Hole number 14, par 4, 375 yards. The hole turns to the left. I pushed my shot to the right and ended up in the bunker here. The bunkers here oh. all have a pretty big lip in front. You'll have to get enough loft even for the fairway bunkers. Found my ball. Again, left myself a long putt from the chip. Short game requires lots of practice on the actual golf course. Simulator golf is just not effective. Hole number 15 is a par 4, 271 yards. Fairway goes around the right side of the water. I decided to go for the fairway right in front of the green. Caddy said you need a 200 yard carry to cross the pond. I didn't hit the perfect shot, but it did make it over the water. Again, I overcooked this chip and the putt. 
Short game really needs work after long winters. Speaking of short, number 16 is the famous Island Green Par 3 on the Faldo course. Don't worry, it's only 106 yards downhill, playing about 90 yards from the white tees. A short but beautiful par 3. On to hole number 17, another gorgeous golf hole, par 4, 343 yards. From the white tees, it looks less challenging, Shot Tracer was having issues here, but I hit a slice which I need to fix and it did hop into the water. You'll see on the next shot, the fairway does narrow where the water pond cuts in and then there are bunkers conveniently in front of the green. Final hole number 18 is a par 5, 414 yards with water all down the right side. This golf course is pretty short, it doesn't look super complicated, but the placement of the bunkers and water hazards are very strategic. It's difficult to go for the green in 2 on par 5s and you'll have to be very accurate with carry distance and direction on your approach shots. My swing is feeling pretty good for the first round of this season, thanks to simulator golf and swinging pretty regularly over the winter. Short game definitely needs more real life, real grass practice. Just got back to the hotel room. So there are 12 golf courses at this whole Mission Hills Resort. It's the largest golf resort in the world. They have multiple clubhouses to service all of these golf courses. The Faldo course is actually at a different clubhouse that is quite a few kilometers away. It's about a half an hour drive. This morning, the shuttle bus that they have from the hotel to the golf course operates every hour on the dot. For us, we missed the 7 a.m. one and then our tea time was at 8.40 and the next shuttle bus would have been at 8. So I called a DD. If you don't have DD, it's a mini app within WeChat or you can download the app separately and that's essentially the Uber of China. And so we called the DD over, it was about 30 RMB total. Yeah, on the way back, we just so happened to finish the round right at one o'clock. And so we were able to catch the one o'clock shuttle back to the hotel. A little summary of just my thoughts on the golf course. I really enjoyed the golf course. The weather was perfect today. It was kind of overcast, not too hot, not too cold. The golf course, it is on the shorter side. So from the white tees, I think it was under 5,600 yards, which is perfect for, you know, my first round of golf after five months. The golf course, I would say, is not too difficult. The greens are difficult. They were very slow, like slower than we were expecting, but it was pouring rain last night. So that could be a contributor. A few of the holes have a lot of water, especially around the greens. They have that sharp drop off. I luckily didn't end up in many bunkers. I think I ended up in one bunker, but the bunkers around the greens are very deep. Like they have that massive front ledge that you have to get over to get on the green. So those are not fun. One more thing I wanted to mention is that the Faldo course and the Pete Dye course are intertwined. They're in the same area and actually at a lot of the intersections um, on the golf course, one way goes to the Pete Dye hole and another way goes to the Faldo hole. I think it's kind of, you know, mixed in together. So I would say course quality, they're probably pretty similar, but the Pete Dye course is the notorious, the most famous one and the one that is members only. So. We actually can't play that golf course and the Faldo course because it's more open to other general members and to guests of the hotel it's a lot more busy and with that i am falling asleep thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it comment down below if you've ever been to mission hills if you've played any of the 12 golf courses here which ones you would recommend to people who have never been here and you know if they could only play two or three rounds which ones would you recommend 
recommend. Let us know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!